It's been a quieter than usual week at Truro Magistrates Court this week after the disruption of Monday's bank holiday. As a result of the extra long weekend we were unable to provide our weekly live blog, but Cornwall Lives a Day in the Life of Truro Magistrates Court will return on Monday, June 4th. As you know by now, Truro Magistrates Court deals with every criminal case, with the most serious of which sent up to Truro Crown Court to be dealt with. The remaining cases span the criminal spectrum and many are still deemed serious enough to be dealt with by an immediate custodial sentence. There were still a handful of people dealt with at the court this week with the usual varying range of outcomes. Anthony Edward Cooper no fixed abode age, 50 on May 28 and Butte assaulted a woman by beating her. Committed to prison for 12 weeks. Restraining order made to pay a surcharge to fund victim services of £115. The entrance to Truro Magistrates Court Martin Jonathan Davies Port 1130 between May 8 and May 21st breached a domestic violence protection order made by Cornwall Magistrates Court on May 7th in that he made contact through a son of a mutual friend wanting to find out the victim's telephone number. Committed to prison for 28 days. Shane Phillip Dodds Trevith and Road Felmuth 20 on April 28th in Nukwe were guilty of disorderly behavior while drunk. Fined £40. To pay a surcharge to fund victim services of £30. To pay costs of £85 to the Crown Prosecution Service. Lennon Louise Lewis Green closed Truro 20 drink driving on February 25th in Truro fined £250. to pay a surcharge to fund victim services of £30. To pay costs of £300 to the Crown Prosecution Service, 20-month driving ban. Luke Daniel Thomas Falmouth Road Truro 29 drink driving in Truro on April 7. 120 hours unpaid work. Disqualified from holding or obtaining a driving license for 26 months to pay a surcharge to fund victim services of £85, to pay costs of £775 to the Crown Prosecution Service.